Uh, uh, all right, so you have to find the curvature, right? So weird. All right, so R prime. I, 2TJ. 2TJ. The guy I used to go over 4T plus. <laughs> yeah. 3T squared over 4K. Okay, yeah. So that's the derivative. So the derivative of T is 1. The derivative of t squared is 2t, and the derivative here is 3t squared over 4, and then you have the k hat. Mm -hmm. Then we need the derivative again, right, yes. to use this formula to find curvature. Prime prime. Or double prime. Prime prime. Prime prime. prime. Okay. <laughs> What's the derivative of 1 i hat? Zero. zero. Oh, yeah, zero. I'll put zero i hat. Yes. That's what people do, or I do. Plus, yeah, b k pro. 2 j hat. Mm -hmm. This is what I was going to say. Be careful. 6t over 4 is really... Uh, 3 over 2. 3 over 2? 3 over 2? Like a foot. Like a foot. Yeah. You got this one. That's it. Boom. So now, oh, now we're good, right? Now we can plug in the number, right? So in this case, how do you get the t? Observation, right? So you have to ask yourself, what value of t can you put here that will give you 2, 4, 2? Well, obviously, t has to be 2, right? These have to match, right? So t is equal to 2. Does that make sense to find? Can we say it again? So you have to ask yourself, what value of t can you put here to make this give you 2, 4, 2? So t has to be 2. This has to be 4, right? So 2 squared is 4. And then if t is 2, you get 2 cubed, which is 8. 8 over 4 is 2. So observation. So t is 2. So in this problem, t is, oh, sorry, t is 2. So now we're going to take these. Oh, that's why it was so complicated, because I went ahead and did the, the cross product, right? With this? Yeah. Oh, uh, you can. It's, I mean, it's good for that's you. That's what I did, but man. <laughs> yeah, I did it, yeah. I, I was waiting till later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you plug in two. All right, so this is the uh, 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 one mm -hmm. I had. I know it's silly, but I like to put the one. I don't know why I, don't know why I did that. Uh, plus, uh, two times two is uh, four. J hat. I'm plugging the two in here. Mm -hmm. Two times two is four. And then three times four, uh, t squared is two squared, so it's four over four. So you just get plus three k hat, plus three k hat. And then here, now we're going to plug the two in here. So it'd be zero i hat plus two j hat plus oh, same thing. Look, the twos cancel, right? Twos cancel, so three k hat. Okay. Any questions up to here? Does it make sense? So now we got to take the cross product. So I'm going to have to erase some stuff here. So so, um, right, because that's, that's all we'll need for the formula, right? Because we'll take the cross product, take the magnitude, and then, and then take the magnitude of this guy in cubic. So you're going to use the cross product of that. Yep. So I'm going to do it again. So up here, so we have, up here, up here, so we have, we have r prime of 2 cross r double prime of 2. Mm -hmm. So what goes in the first row? IJK. You IJK. IJK. So i hat, j hat, k hat, like a pro. And then uh, one, four, three, right? That one goes first, okay? So, so one, four, three. So we could review for Stefan too. And then zero, two, three. So zero, two, three. So Stefan, if you remember determinants from pre-calc, that's what we're gonna find. And we're gonna expand along the first row. So remember that negative one to the one plus. So it's just gonna be plus minus plus. That's the cheap way that people do it in calc three. It's like wrong with this, right? So, so it's i hat, and then it's four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three. Plus, minus, plus, right? So it's plus, not it's minus. So minus, uh, uh, I'll put the j hat first, j hat. And then it's Maybe. 1, 0, 3, 3, right? 1, 0, 3, 3. So, so 1, 0, 3, 3. That's a j hat. That's a j hat. Is that right? 1, 0, 3, 3? I did that right? 1, 0, 3, 3. I got 1, 0, 3, 3. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Oh, oh. It's 1, 0, 3, 3. Okay. Right? Like that. Right? Like that. Plus k hat. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and use a marker now. Huh, huh. So one four zero two. One four zero two. Okay. So alright, so we use the we did the cross product, so it's four three two three, and that's plus one zero three three, and it's minus one zero four two and that's plus plus minus plus i j k and then we just do the the, the multiplication right mm -hmm. so it'd be four times three is twelve so it's twelve minus six, six. so just six i hat mm -hmm. and then it's going to be three what one times three is three three times zero is zero so three minus so minus zero j hat mm -hmm. and then it's going to be a two minus zero right 
Since 1 times 2 is 2, minus 4 times 0, which is, so it's 2 minus, so, plus... It's, it's minus 3j hat. Minus 3j hat, it's a mistake. Good, good save. Falling apart. Right. So minus 3j hat. And then plus 2, 2k hat. 2k hat. So that's, that's the cross product, right? That's the cross product. Hey, what's up? Well, we gotta take the magnitude of that, right? Now we gotta take the magnitude of that, and then let's do it. So let's do it. So let's take the magnitude of that. I'll do it over here. So we need the magnitude of this and the magnitude of this. So the magnitude of this, let's do it, is gonna be the square root, and then you just square these guys, right? So it'd be 36 plus, and then that's gonna be uh, 9, 9, right? Negative 3 squared is 9, plus and that would be uh, 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 4. So it's going to be 13 plus 36. 49. So that's 49. What's the square root of 49? <laughs> 7. So I don't want to mess up again, right? So 7 is too long. <laughs> this problem is too long. All right, that's going to be the top part, right? That's mm -hmm. going to be the 7 up here. Mm -hmm. Now we just got to find the magnitude of this bad boy. So the magnitude of our prime of 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we'll cube it in a minute. So it would be 1 squared is 1 plus 4 squared, which is uh, 16. 16, 16, plus 3 squared is 9. nine. I've already messed up like three times, so I don't want to mess up again. That's 26. Is, is it 26? I believe you. No, it is. 10 plus 16 is 26. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. So the final answer, we're seeing all this. So it's this magnitude up here, which is uh, 7. 7, right? 7 over the square root of 26. Cute. And rationalize that. No, it's not, but you can. <laughs> you don't have to rationalize. And that's it. That's the 